What is up my peeps? This is gonna be a little experimental thing. We are gonna see quickly, I'm gonna give you a quick summary of the world and the current state of the world from my let's play I seen it goes to Africa the year is 187 BC and a couple of very interesting things have started to 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 show up I'm gonna start with my territories of course we invaded Africa uh, and I can't remember the, no the year exactly but we invaded Africa very early three four turns in the game uh, we are now becoming a little world power in Africa because we have so many territories Rome is not attacking us at the moment I'm gonna get back to Rome uh, so nothing's really there to stop us. We are quickly going to invade uh, Egyptus and Etho Ethiopia and become um, part of something bigger. But first we have to go through Gnosis and we have to go through Egypt who are now fighting each other. So they're like wounded states. They will be very easy to handle. But moving on. We see here a very, very interesting thing developing here. The Seleucid Empire, we can assume that they have most of this ter these territories that I cannot see, either them or their vassals. So what we're seeing here is we're seeing Parthia invade into Seleucid lands, and Parthia has actually started to become a second world power because they have a lot of territories, most of these territories, and they can even get many more. Uh, so they are a world power to the east, we are a world power to the south, and Seleucid Empire is fighting them, so is Cyprus. So we have a little three-way three war conflict going on here. So that's the state of Asia Minor as it is, which, which is developing into something very interesting. Another thing I wanted to point out is that Sparta has taken all of Sicily. Sparta is now in uh, neighboring Ro Rome, and they are not at all on good terms. They have never been in good terms. They will never be in good terms, most likely. Uh, so this is a very interesting conflict because this could break out into a war. And my guess is that Rome would lose that war because Rome is already weakened. Rome does, does not have, despite having really good units, they do not have uh, a good hold of Italy because of Gallic confederations, which we're going to talk about later. So we have another interesting conflict here. We also have a, another little war against between the Turdetani and the Edetani, who are fighting for control of Iberia. So far the Turdetani are in the lead, but I believe these guys are both fighting for the whole region of Iberia, and they will most likely wipe out the remaining clans here, because they have already gotten somewhat of a good hold. Moving on, we have this conflict, which is extremely interesting. This might be the biggest conflict, or it's not a conflict yet, but these two are pretty much world powers. We have the Gallic Confederations who have Milan and most of France. They will get most of France. Uh, they will get all of it, most likely. And we have the Suebi who have all of Germany. One of two things could happen here. They could break into war, which would cause the biggest war that my empire has ever seen, or not my empire, excuse me, my campaign has ever seen. Or uh, the Suebi could move further south into Greece and interfere with Sparta and Macedonia and Athens and Gallic confederations could interfere with Rome which would also make it interesting because Gallic versus Rome, Suebi versus Athens, Sparta and Macedonia and then we have this little awkward situation that I would would love to see also be at war with each other that would definitely give the victory to these two overall so that's my current state of the campaign. I've gone through everything that I can go through. I don't know anything about the uh, about the situations here. Might be a world power here, might not. Brittany is the same as always. Nothing happened here. I don't think I want to take all of Britannia because my campaign is not about that. But anyway, we are, as I said, going to continue expanding eastwards. And we're going to take part in this little three-way war. And we're most likely going to take out Seleucid Empire first. Um which is going to give the edge to Parthia, of course. Or we could go to Hellas, or we could go to Rome. It, I don't know yet, but I just wanted... It does, that's not what this video is about. I just wanted to give you guys a little summary of the current campaign and the current situation of 187 BC in my Let's Play. I hope this was interesting to you guys. If it was, let me know, because I might do this like every 20 years, every 25 years or something. I might give you guys a little update. We can compare the before with the now. So let me guys know if you found this interesting. The best way you can let me know is by either commenting or liking or both, because if a video has a significant amount of likes in comparison to the other videos of the series, then I can tell that, you know, this one was really good. This one was very interesting. So yeah, let me know. A lot of likes, and I'll do more. 
same amount of likes as the other um, parts of the let's play and I'll consider it but if it's if it not if it's not the same amount I'll obviously not gonna do this anymore anyways I will see you guys next time when we will be doing part uh, 12 part 12 yeah we'll be doing part 12 I believe don't believe me on that <laughs> all right peace guys <laughs>